Hello, this is Mark McElroy. I'm here at the Electric Cave Recording Studio, uh, here for microphoneboutique.com, to talk about this beautiful and beautiful looking and beautiful sounding microphone. This is the Nikfi KMN15. There's also KMN16, which is the same microphone with a different with a, a paint job. This is the natural uh, color. Uh, this model right here we're looking at is a prototype. Um, and so if you happen to look up close and see a little nick or a little bit of glue somewhere, that's because uh, this one is uh, one, of the, one of the first uh, made. Uh, it's a small production microphone. It's made um, in Moscow at the Nick Fee Institute. Uh, it is actually a... Uh, a, a um, scientific endeavor kind of institute where they study um, film film uh, technology and they uh, develop uh, they have students as well but they have a whole wing that just develops new interesting technology and this uh, is the result of a lot of work there so what we're going to do is I'm going to take a look at this now you can see all around it it's of course shaped like an egg, so people are going to call it the egg or an egg. And, but uh, the shape is is uh, is uh, a little bit of a coincidence. So we're going to talk about why it's shaped like an egg, um, about its characteristics, and why don't I get on that side of the microphone and start talking into it so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, now you get your first glimpse, ear glimpse of the sound of this microphone. Um, it's an amazing microphone sound, I think. Uh, this microphone, uh, let's start by saying uh, this microphone is a top-to-bottom redesign. Uh, it's a very vintage-style microphone, but it, they took nothing for granted when they designed it. So, um, you know how uh, uh, microphones are generally based on German designs these days. Uh, the Neumann designs are very popular. And uh, German engineering is always about incremental improvements. Um, so, like I drive a BMW as well, and I have a you know, a, you could have a 1982 BMW, and the parts from a 1992 BMW fit it because they're essentially making the same car every year, and making it a little better. So they take all the good things and keep them, and then they they retune things to kind of optimize. Uh, something and that's how they made microphones. Norman, uh, the capsules in a U87 today are essentially the same capsules that they used in the 60s. Um, the design has not changed uh, uh, for a very long time. They find something good and they latch onto it. And a lot of microphones are based on those German designs. Um, I'm not saying that to say something bad about it because I love German microphones too. But this microphone was redesigned from the top down. They just throughout all convention and made this so here we have uh, the first thing that's noticeable is the shape um, so the upper half of this is the actual head basket um, and they decided they wanted the conical head basket and uh, you'll see on the side here this little line uh, that it's staggered uh, rather than a straight up and down line harder to make but all these decisions were based on getting optimal performance out of the capsule. And then uh, they decided to stick with the egg-shaped motif, and uh, in the bottom half is where the amplifier is housed. Um, it's a FET-type amplifier. It runs off of um, phantom power, so no special exotic uh, power supplies are needed. Uh, the great thing about this is it is a... Um, it's a FET mic that behaves like a tube mic and I'll say that I'm going to do a little singing later so you can hear how it uh, uh, works but um, why I say it behaves like a tube mic is it um, um, it's very responsive to a sound but as you increase your volume it does this really magical thing where it kind of mm, sucks it in and kind of so you can hit this with some some bursts of high pressure sound and it just makes it sound great it's kind of like compression but it's not exactly compression either um, 
It's just how the microphone reacts through uh, the spectrum of mm, kind of the the, uh, the the decibels that you put to it, and also uh, the um, frequencies you put to it. How those two, uh, I guess you can call them axes, how they combine where the the, the sound travels on that. Of course, you can just hear. Um, I'll do some singing, and you'll be able to hear um, essentially what I'm talking about. A But uh, my takeaway from testing this microphone for some time is that it is a, um, it's a FET microphone that behaves like a tube microphone. Um, it's got a nice, clear, clean top end. That's not at all harsh, but very present. There's no EQ on the signal right now. I usually, when I use a microphone on a voice, I'll do a high pass, but um, for today I just left it wide open so that you hear what it sounds like wide open. Um, also, it's going through a uh, really basic channel strip, transformerless uh, Neotech channel strip that's just using a little bit of gain, about the same amount of gain that you would use to use any, um, any uh, phantom powered condenser mic. So, uh, let's see, what else should I tell you about this microphone? So I'll tell you more about Nickfee. Uh, they are a, an institute that you know, designs um, film and, uh, and audio you know, to go with it. Uh, technology uh, in Russia. It was founded in probably the Stalinist time in the, under the Soviet Union um, as the premier institute to develop Russian uh, film and audio. Um, to this day, they still have a mandate to, you know, develop new technology and this came out of this. So they've been working on this microphone for years. And like I said, designing from the top down, bottom up and the top down. <laughs> All right. Um, so that alone makes it amazing as well. Of course, handmade, uh, and assembled in a small workshop that makes a big difference, uh, in the end quality. Um... So let me just get to uh, do a little singing demo. I'm also going to make a few videos uh, for this mic where I compare it with a uh, U87 or something. But uh, what I did is I put a, a photo out and said, hey, everyone check this out uh, on our site. And then people went nuts. And they're like, what's it sound like? Oh, my God, it's beautiful. I'm like, oh, you know, I didn't read that right. I, I got to have sound samples right away. So I'm making this video quickly. Uh, but I'm going to make some more videos uh, to demonstrate this mic. All right, so some some singing, which is I, was, I should always plan this ahead, and I don't. Um, I usually like to mix up a little bit of uh, you know croony singing and uh, rock singing or R and B. Uh, Beatles, Beatles are always a good thing to sing. Um, let's see here, something. Uh, um, there are places I remember all my life Though some have changed, some forever Not for better, some have gone And some remain All right, let's see uh, Something a little more American R&B so, Mokey Robinson or Marvin Gaye. Um, let's see here. Um, Marvin Gaye, too. Early. You do me wrong, but still I'm crazy about you. Stay away too long and I can't live without you. A child will do too much until you do everything he says. Yeah. Um, but, uh, this is here to demonstrate, uh, what it sounds like. Um, I think you can hear my neighbor knocking. That's how sensitive this microphone is. <laughs> I'm going to have to move the studio. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's a weekend. So weekend daytimes, uh, cramming this in. But anyways, you can, uh, you can hear that thickness, um, when the volume increases, um, so let me think of another example, another great, uh, um, overdriven vocal. How about, um, uh, let's
let's see. Uh, I know you want to leave me, but I refuse to let you go. And if I have to beg and plead for your sympathy, I don't mind because you mean that much to me. So there you go. Um, obviously, you hear the microphone do marvelous things when you, you put it to its limits a little bit. Well, let's have uh, something croony. Um, let's see, Sinatra or something like that. Let me think of... Uh, What's a good one? A uh, good croony song. Um, let's see, maybe a Gershwin kind of tune. I'm not going to do Summertime, that's a cliche. How about uh, Night and Day? Oh, that's Cole Porter. But we'll do it anyways. Night and Day, you are the one. Only you beneath the moon and under the sun. Whether near to me or far, it's no matter where you are, I think of you night and day. All right, that's a little singing and a little talking. So now you know what is Nick Fee, what this microphone can do. Not only is it beautiful looking, it sounds beautiful. Um, as I'm making this, uh, production is limited. Uh, there's a limited number available. And we're going to offer them real soon uh, on our site and uh, on kind of popular online sales sites. And uh, so the, the first batch, we predict, will run out in, uh, you know, soon because we think you'll like this. And then uh, we'll be making them in batches until we can ramp up the uh, production. I went to a, a meeting at Nick, Nick Fee, and uh, we had a great uh, talk about... Uh, the future and other other modifications and other kinds you know they have some amazing designs there so this hopefully is just the beginning of a lot of great mics from that company uh, so thanks uh, for watching listening and um, uh, leave some comments or ask me any questions microphoneboutique.com is the website and thank you very much <laughs>